Welcome back to the most news in the morning. Are you one of those shoppers who thrives on scoring big ticket items at bargain basement prices, uh, but could do without the crowds and elbows? We're going to tell you how you can snap up those steeply discounted deals online. There's just a little catch. Mm. Arlena Cho has this AM original. We have 10 minutes to purchase. What's stress? It's 12 o'clock, and at offices across America, these shoppers are going nuts. You don't even think about budget. You just put it in your cart, and then you deal with it. The online store Guilt Group just opened, and the clock is ticking. Am I done? In just seconds, yes, seconds, designer dresses, shoes, and handbags get snapped up by buyers looking for a Luke deal at bargain basement prices. It's the web version of the ultimate sample sale. You get caught up in the fever of the moment, and people love it. It's like gambling or the horse races. It's gambling. Am I going to get it? I want it. The power of competition. It's called deadline shopping. The idea is simple. Entice customers with high-end designer labels at a great price, then give them a set amount of time to buy with a limited supply. At Guilt Group, membership is free, but in order to get in, you have to be invited by a member. People want a deal, but they also don't want the exact same deal that everybody else is getting. So the brilliance of these sites is it makes you feel like you and a tiny handful of other people have stumbled onto this great, fabulous find, and that's wonderful. It's like the biggest store in the world. This is where the magic starts, at New York's Brooklyn Navy Yard, of all places, in this hot, dusty, 200,000-square-foot facility, what some fashion addicts call the Holy Grail. Guilt Group's warehouse. I mean, how do you get people to buy clothing that they can't touch, they can't feel, and they can't right. try on? You know, I think it's a couple of things. One is that it's appointment shopping. You know, we have turned shopping into an event. That's for sure. I feel that shopping on Guild has actually turned me into, like, an even better multitasker than I was before. <laughs> it fuses two of my major interests, which are being lazy and shopping. Think it's a fad? Think again. Guilt Group was founded less than three years ago. Today, it has nearly three million members, on track to do up to a half billion dollars in sales this year. Guilt was founded by two fashionistas, classmates at Harvard Business School. It's that you don't know how many are left, you only have a limited amount of time. And the prices are unbelievable. They're there for a day, but not the following day. So you know that, unlike a store, if you go in and there's not anything left, you think, oh, not a great experience. But on Guilt Group, you know that you have to get there early. If you get there too late, there'll be nothing left. And because it's online shopping, each and every item sold is photographed at the Guilt Warehouse with a full team of stylists working around the clock. And that's key. But there is one issue, buyer's remorse. Yeah. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. It's different than anything I have. Yeah. I and you definitely needed it. Uh, yes, just like I need to drink four Diet Cokes a day, like that. That's how much I needed it. <laughs> Listen, who couldn't use a striped dress in their closet? You know, though, Guilt Group is far and away the most popular and has the most buzz. There are other deadline shopping sites for sure. In fact, you may have heard of Ideally, Outlook, and Rue La La, to name a few. Maybe you haven't. But anyway, there are many of them around, guys. And the reason why the model works really for everyone is because a lot of designers have to manufacture their clothes overseas, right? You can't make just 10. you got to make 1,000, maybe 10,000. The department stores simply are not going to buy all of them. Enter right. Guilt. They buy in bulk at a discount, and that's why they're able to pass on that discount to the consumer. So it really, really does work. I have a theory, really okay. sexist theory. All right. You know how men like to get on and play those baseball video games? It's the same. And it's just, You're right. I just think this is a game. It like is a, a game. girl game. It you is know? a girl and game. And we just get on and go, Hey, but oh, wow. listen. You, you know, you talked about those three million members on Guilt. There's now Guilt Man, there's Guilt Children, there's Guilt mm -hmm. Jet Setter if you want to buy a trip. There's Guilt Sur City, I'm sorry, for city services. It's, say you want to buy a massage or a manicure pedicure or something like that. All of that's available online. Uh, it was interesting. They say the way men like to shop, uh, and it works for men. A lot of men go on Guilt, apparently, and these other sites, is that they go and they'll see a suit that they like, and they'll buy it in blue, gray, oh. <laughs> chocolate.
chocolate that's brown. Devious. You know what I mean? See? Did right. you just come up with an idea to combine video games with shopping for men? That, I think that is a video game for women, <laughs> actually. Is. But I just like the term guilt men. Because I, I might do more shopping that. if that's the case. <laughs> Alina, Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. It is uh, 30 minutes past the hour, and that means time for this morning's top stories. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton hoping to write a new chapter in an old Mideast drama.